Some crazy results last weekend in Syria, app, but there's plenty to look forward to in match day number 14, and we're going to kick it off right here, right now, with my predictions. That's right, folks, back once again with another prediction video. This time, looking forward to match day number 14 in the 2018 2019 Serie A season. Now, before we get into the thick of things, if you're new to the channel, where the heck have you been, boys? Smash the old subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Serie A related, Blackburn Rovers related, world football related. We've got it all here under one roof. Now, before we get into match day number 14, we're going to take a look back at my predictions for match day number 13. Kicking it off right here, right now, with the Udinese against Roma result. Now, the final score in that game ended up being 1 nil win for Udinese. Now me, I opted for the sort of better position team and that was Roma and I opted for a 2 nil away win so I got that one absolutely wrong. Uh, moving on to probably your guaranteed uh, banker and that was Juventus up against Spal. I opted for, well the final result was actually 2 nil for Juventus. For me, I went a little bit more than that, 4-1 for Juventus. Uh, so I got the correct result, just incorrect scoreline. Moving over to Inter Milan up against Frosione. I went to, well, we're going to actually, I've been doing this all the, a little bit backwards this weekend. Uh, I, the actual final score was a 3-0 win for Inter Milan. And I actually got this one absolutely right on the money. 3-0 victors for Inter Milan. Moving over to Parma up against Sassuolo. Uh, this ended up being a 2-1 win for Parma. For me, I also opted for a 2-1 win, boys and girls. So I got that bad boy right on the money. So two out of two, well, two correct ones out of two. Moving over to Bologna up against Fiorentina. That ended up being a 0-0 result. For me, I opted for a 2-2 draw. So out of the first five fixtures for the Serie A weekend, I've got four out of the five uh, correct results, correct results, should I say. Moving on to Napoli up against Kiev. This was a bit of a surprise, actually. Ended up being a nil-nil draw. Does Napoli slipping off the pace a little bit uh, behind Juventus. Kiev, obviously, bottom club, picking up a valuable point. Uh, I actually uh, opted for a comfortable home win, but uh, obviously that never happened. Moving on to Empoli up against At Atalanta. Uh, result ending in a 3-2 win for the home side. Empoli, uh, I opted for an actual on away win, 2-0 in favour of Atalanta. Back-to-back, so, uh, -back. wrong answers there, and it doesn't get much better either. Lazio up against AC Milan, ended up in a 1-1 draw and I actually opted for a 2-1 home win for Lazio so again got that one absolutely wrong moving over to Genoa up against Sampdoria towards the back end of the weekend uh, I predicted a 1 oh, sorry the final score was a 1-1 and I actually predicted a 1-1 so I got uh, that bear be bad boy it's right on the money and wrapping up the weekend on Monday night Cagliari up against Torino ended up at a 0-0 draw I opted for a 2-2 draw so pretty good uh, weekend of predictions for myself 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of the 10 results I got Got correct. Score lines also pretty good. Three out of the ten. Moving over to this weekend's action. Spal up against Empoli. Now Spal, uh, where are they on the table at the moment? They're actually in 15th spot up against 17th place Empoli. But I'm going to go with home form on this one and edge it for Spal. 2-1 win for them. And that should give them a good boost in the table. Actually, they start off the season in pretty good shape. But slipping off the pace a little bit. Moving on to Fiorentina up against Juventus. Tough one this one for Juve. Uh, last weekend I did predict a defeat uh, for Juventus. But they uh, obviously got that one right. Uh, moving on to this one, though. I think it's going to be a tough game, but I still expect the Juventus to continue their uh, unbeaten start to the season. And a 2-1 away win for them. Moving on to Sampdoria up against Bologna. Uh, Sampdoria are in. Where are they in the table? They've slipped off the pace a little bit in 12th spot. Bologna are now in 18th spot. But I'll go with home form on this one. 2-0 win for Sampdoria. Moving over to AC Milan up against Parma. Bit of a tasty one this one, but I expect the home team to come out on top 2-0 uh, as AC Milan are in fifth spot and uh, Parma are, where are they in the table? They're around about, they're actually doing pretty well. Sixth spot at the moment, but I still expect AC Milan to come out on top with the big double. Moving on to Frosione up against Cagliari. Bit of a relegation scrap this one. Uh, Frosione in 19th spot. Cagliari Doing a little bit better in 13th spot, but I'm going to go with a 2-2 draw here. Sp uh, points split right down the middle uh, and actually give Frosione a bit of a boost. as Chievo now, obviously breathing, well not really breathing down the necks, but that was they picked up a massive point last weekend to get them into the plus side. Moving on to Torino up against Genoa. Torino in 11th spot, Genoa against 14th spot. Kind of a mid-table crunch clash this one. Um, tough one to call, but I'm going to go with home form in this one. 2-1 win for Torino and that'll give them a big boost as well. That could actually push them into the top eight should things go their way. Moving on to Sassuolo up against Udinese. Now, Sassuolo still doing all right in eighth spot. Uh, as for Udinese, they are in 16th spot. So you wouldn't expect that at the start of the season. But again, I'm going to go with home form in this one. And it would be another big W for Sassuolo. 2-1 winners over Udinese. Moving on to Chievo up against Lazio. Now, like I said, 
it was going to happen one of these days that they were going to get some points on the board, and they did last weekend, a surprising one. And I reckon they're going to get another surprising one this weekend in a 1-1 draw up against Lazio, a team that is flying high in fourth spot. Moving over to Roma, up against Inter Milan. Now, Roma are flying reasonably high in seventh spot. They kind of dropped off a little bit. Up against Inter Milan, who are in third spot. A win for Inter Milan would, could push them into second spot, depending on what goes on elsewhere. And that's what exactly what I think is going to happen. 3-1, a way win for Inter Milan to give them a good old boost as they try to... Uh, Secure Champions League football next season and wrapping up the weekend. Atalanta up against Nam Na Na Napoli. Woo, get my words out. Uh, Atalanta are in ninth spot. Obviously, Napoli are in second spot. Breathing, or I wouldn't say breathing down the net, but they are chasing down Juventus. They are the closest team and I expect them to keep up the pace a little bit with a 2-1 away win against Atalanta. Well, that's pretty much all I've got for you folks. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a good old thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash your subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Serie A related, Black and Rose related, whoa, football related. We've got it all here under one roof. Also, make sure you check out the old descriptions. The links to my other social media platforms are in there. Twitter, Facebook, it's all in there. And also, while you're at it, let me know what you think is going to happen this weekend in Serie A in the old comment section below. Whack out on your old predictions. We're going to have a good old natter about it. See how many you can get right and see how many I can get right. And we'll see who comes out on top. Anyway, until I see you again, which will be next weekend, boys and girls, as we look forward to match day number 15, boys and girls. Until then, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.